All right, what you're about to see is police out of control. This guy is standing on a street corner. He's, I don't know, five to 10 feet from the crime scene tape. He's well outside their perimeter and he's taking some video. And up comes Mr. Policeman that uh, they don't like this guy down there because he's been filming traffic stops and whatnot. And so just to mess with him, they seize his phone. Now keep in mind that the crime scene investigators are inside the tape over at the actual crime scene, which is looks to be half a block to three quarters of a block away. They're in there taking plenty of pictures and video, but they don't want anybody else taking any pictures or video, even though you can't see anything. So up comes Mr. Dirty Cop to seize this guy's camera. And guys, this is the this stuff is is covered. Uh, uh, there, there are so many court decisions on this, I can't even count them. And, and that's before we even get to Turner versus Driver. It is ridiculous that these officers act like this, but they do it because nobody holds them accountable. So today, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to get some accountability. We're going to make sure that they're paying attention to this. So far, the police, the mayor, they're, they're ignoring this guy and what has happened here, which means it'll happen again. So after you watch this video, should you wish to do so, you have the First Amendment right to seek redress from your government. Contact information is in the description. And if somebody would please find their Facebook and start posting this on Facebook so that the local population will know exactly what these <coughs> heroes are up to, that would be helpful. Guys, here's the video. What's up everybody? This good citizen came across his guys that the street blocked off. I don't know what's going on. Let's check this out. Uh, all right, sir. All right, how are you doing? Well, there's a First Amendment protected activity. Right. Yeah. This is First Amendment.